Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a very quick makeup haul. This one is a high-end makeup haul. So some of these, well, most of these products are like more on the expensive side. I will be doing a affordable drugstore haul soon so be on the lookout for that yeah um disclaimer if you hear my daughter in the background i'm sorry she's just doing the most today so if you want to see what goodies i got for my high-end haul please continue to watch this video okay so i have established that i am not the type of person that is gonna like do like the favorites every single month like I love makeup don't get me wrong but I really don't ever accumulate that much makeup in a month's time so this is probably actually this haul right here is about two weeks worth of me buying stuff so yeah let's dive right into it the first thing I want to show are my Huda Beauty Lashes. I'm so excited about these. I have these on today. These are number 8 Scarlet. And I'm just going to a close up on it so you can really, really see how beautiful they are. I was going to get the Samanthas, but I'm just like, let me try the Scarlets first. Because they are kind of expensive. I think they're like $20. I've never paid. Oh, actually, have I paid $20 for lashes? I think I have, but I mean, it was a brand. I think they were House of Lashes, and I think that was like a three pack or something like that. Yeah, I see like everybody loves these lashes. So I was like, let me just go close my eyes, swipe, and try them. And I actually really, really do like them. I really, really do. The next two products are Lippies. They are by Anastasia Beverly Hill. I think this is my favorite brand and the fate and my favorite formula. I got I have like six over there, but I want to end up getting the whole collection because I really do love the formula. I feel like the colors are really, really beautiful. And I feel like her, most of her colors can be used on all shades. The two newest colors I bought are Trust Issues and Ashton. Ashton is like the perfect nude for my skin tone, I feel. I have it on today. If you guys follow me on like Instagram or Snapchat or Facebook or anything, you guys saw that my mommy bought me the Anastasia Glow Kit and I love this. I have it on today. Hopefully you guys can see that glow. Here are the colors right here. I'm gonna do a close up so you guys can see. The colors that I mixed for today's highlight, I mixed Amber Gold and Golden Dawn. So I mixed these two colors right here. And since we're already talking about highlights and stuff, I want to talk about... Oh, did I leave it over there? Or did I put it in here? Oh, no, here it is. I'm going to talk about the Anastasia, the number A23 highlighting brush. I don't know why I've been prolonging on getting this and adding this to my collection, but I'm so glad that I finally have it and that she belongs to me because this is like a jumbo size like tapering blending brush. I was using my Sigma tapering blending brush, which worked, but it's just smaller. This covers a little bit more ground, but I just love it. Like literally, all I had to do was just. mom paid for it but I was with her I think it was 23 don't quote me I will have like the link down below but I am going to tell you this like I don't personally like fan brushes or highlight I feel like it doesn't pick up enough product but this right here if you're going to invest in a really good highlight brush if you're super into highlights then I would definitely say get the Anastasia A23 highlight brush because it is amazing I ended up getting the Tarte Shape Tape. This was like a social media recommendation. Everybody was saying how much they love it and stuff like that. I have tried it a few times. I got the darkest shade, which is tan. Now I do wish they came, they kind of expanded the color selection because this being the darkest, like I can't use this, you know, on clients who are pretty much any deeper than me. I 
don't think it's amazing. I definitely love my Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer Cream. I definitely love that a lot more, to be completely honest with you guys. But this one is nice as well. And then the next product is a eyebrow product. My friend Ariel told me about this. This is what she uses for her brows. I don't think it's like a super new product, but it's new to me, so I'm going to talk about it. It is the MAC Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream. I got the color Deep Dark Brunette. It's kind of like MAC's version of a pomade, like Anastasia pomade or any other pomade that is out there. It glides on really 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 good i just like it i will say i like it a little bit more than like my nyx brow gel because the nyx brow gel dries really really quick so you have to work fast but this i i really really like this the only thing i have noticed about like their gels is they dry out a little fast i have the black track gel liner by mac and it dried like that so just make sure that you tighten the cap and maybe place it upside down as well so air like doesn't get trapped during it. Told you. You guys hear her. I know you do. Okay, then I have three products left to show you. And all these are from TJ Maxx, you guys. TJ Maxx. If you guys have a TJ Maxx, you need to run over there because they definitely have high-end products. I went and I bought the Anastasia um, Contour Cream. I got the color deep because I already have the medium and guess how much it was $20 my other Anastasia one that I have a medium I bought that from Sephora and I want to say that was $40 um I mean they're a little bit deep but I feel like it will be beautiful typically I don't like a cream highlight I stick more to like shadows and powders and stuff like that but when I saw this at TJ Maxx I was like I'm just gonna get it and we're just gonna try it if I don't like it I can always return it okay and then the next two are Kat Von D palettes these are not like brand new palettes or anything like that but I love Kat Von D so when I saw these I was like put it in the cart just put it in the cart I gotta get it I got the interstellar eyeshadow palette $20 I don't know how much it is like or how much it was I'm not even sure if Sephora sells it anymore but it was probably I'm thinking at least 45 at the minimum so i got it for 19.99 and then the last palette is the uh crystallis hope i'm pronouncing that right <laughs> crystallis eyeshadow palette the packaging's so cute it has like a little butterfly yeah that is it for my haul i know this video is not super super long but like i said i really don't you know buy too too many products like in a month like i just i just don't but i definitely love all the products that i got and i hope you did too thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you guys next time have a good day bye